Hello and welcome to the second video talking about dynamic array functions. Dynamic array functions will work only with Office 365 or Microsoft 365. If you are working with any other version of Excel, you won't be able to enjoy the whole dynamic array concept. In this video, we are going to present two new functions. First one is unique, which designed to return the list of unique values in the list or range. Unique has one required argument, which is array, and two optional arguments. We are going to discuss all of them in details. The second function will be sort. The sort function sorts the contents of a range or array. Sort has four arguments, with only one required, which is, again, the array. And the three other arguments are all optional, and also we are going to look at all of them. We will discuss these two new functions through eight examples, four for each of them. Also during the video, we'll see how the array function transpose will behave under the new calculation engine for Office 365 and how can we combine it with the new dynamic array function unique. If you want to follow along while watching the video, or even if you want to practice after watching the video, please go down in the description section. You will find the link. Please use it to download the Excel file and also use the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified with the new videos. So let's start with the unique function. As you can see here, I have a small table of two columns. First one is for regions and second one for categories. And I have some requirements I need to prepare in these uh, different tables. So first one is to create a unique list of categories in this area. So let's start directly with the function. I'm going to select the cell E5 and then type equal uniq here is the unique function you can just press on tap it will continue the typing for you the first argument as you can see is an array so i'm going to select the array and it will be for sure the column coming from this table if you hover your mouse over the top of this column you will see a small black arrow if you just click it will select the entire column and you can see the address is written here here is the name of the table region underscore category and then between square brackets you will see the name of the header which is category and then my first argument is set let me go to the second argument i'm going to type comma second argument asking you if you want to do the unique list by rows or by column so the question is by column if you answer false meaning that it is by rows and for sure in this case it is by rows you'll see that all values are written uh, in consecutive rows like this so for sure this should be a false and then another comma to look at the third argument which is exactly once you need to answer again with true or false exactly once meaning that if you want to only select the values that occurred once but in this case i need a unique list regardless of the recurrence of each element of this list so the answer will be again false i can just select false and double click by the mouse and then i close the bracket for unique and press enter you will see that the entire array will be spilled for unique items coming from this list and as you can see here if you look at e5 you will see that the formula is live here you can just edit if you go to the second line or the second row you will see that it is grayed and you cannot change anything here you need to change in the cell that you originally wrote the formula or the function in so that's fine i did my first requirement but let me try something let me edit again and look at the arguments. First one, mandatory, as we said, the array. Second one is asking you by column, and it is optional. As you can see, it is between square brackets, meaning that it is optional, and the default value in this case will be false. And the same for exactly once, the default value is false as well. This means that if I delete these two arguments and I put the address of the category column as the only argument, which is the array argument, the required one, and I press on enter, it will give me exactly the same answer. So let's go to the second example. In this example, I need to just grab all the regions that occurred only once inside this list. You'll see here I have list of regions and there is uh, two regions of this list occurred only once. Let me again try to work with the unique function equal U, N, I, Q, and then tab. 
my input will be my first input or first argument will be the array in this case it will be the region array I can just uh, hover my mouse over the top of the column and then click or I can just write it you know the name of the uh, table called region underscore category so if I write R E G as an example you will see that it is selecting the region uh, underscore category table you can see here the icon for table if you just press on tab here is the name of the table and you'll see that the selection highlighted the entire table but I need only one column so I'm going to open a square bracket and you will see here all the options of the uh, columns in this case I need region I can just select by the mouse and double click close the square bracket you will notice that the selection now on the region column and then comma now I have my first argument done if you select the array here is the first argument let's start the second argument which is asking you by column again the answer will be false comma for the third argument and now it is asking you if you need the exactly once option true or false for me this will be true because I need the values that occurred only once inside this list close the bracket and enter here is the answer two values only delta and north coast so the third one is to try to use the by column option inside the unique function let me start to write the equation equals unique u n i q and then tab my array will be the same the category array comma for the second argument it is by column this time let me try true and the, the third one exactly once which is I'm going to select false or I can just ignore because as we mentioned the default is false so I'm going to close the bracket and then press on enter what happened is not correct why because I'm giving rows and I'm asking for columns and for sure this is giving something uh, doesn't make any sense for us and for the Excel creators so in this case let me try to do something different if you remember the transpose function if you try to do a transpose for this list so I'm going in this cell in I8 and type equal and then transpose TRAN here is the first selection transpose tab then it requires also an array my array this time will be again the category list or category array and then close the bracket and enter you will see that it is transposed into columns instead of rows I can put the transpose function inside a unique function so let me try to edit carefully and type u n i q then tab now you have uh, your first argument or first array is the transposed array as you can see here and then I can put comma for the second argument by column this time I'm going to select true and then tab and I'm going to ignore the third argument close the bracket and enter and here you go I can just copy this uh, formula control X and go to the right place and control and control V then we are done with the third example for example number four now I need a unique list for more than one column in for multiple columns meaning that I need a unique list for from the entire table so you have here um, Cairo component for me will be different from uh, component Giza and will be uh, different from component Delta and so on and so forth so let me try to do this using also the unique function I'm going to cell E12 and then I'll type equal and then U N I Q tap for unique this time I'm going to select the entire table I can do this by again by just hovering the mouse over the top of the table and select both of the columns you will see here uh, the region underscore category is written uh, like this and no square brackets meaning that it is selecting the entire table if you just put the comma you will see that the entire table is highlighted here now asking you by column for sure it is false and uh, exactly once and also this is false so I can just leave leave it empty or just ignore it and leave the default false and false then I'm going to close the bracket and enter you will see here the list populated and each and every entire record for this table is a unique uh, element you can see here Cairo component is different from Cairo accessories 
and again it is different from Giza component and different from Giza accessories and so on and so forth now we are finished with the first part let's move to sort the second part of this video on the left hand side you can see that I have a small table here of three columns first one for category and then date and then units I have several requirements first one is to create a sorted list of categories you can see here one column ascending I'm going to select the category and sorted ascending in this small table in order to do this I'm going for sure to use the sort function let me select the cell F4 and then I'm going to type equal and then sort SO my first selection will be sort then I'm going to tap and the first argument is again an array for sure the array will be the list of categories I can just hover over it as we did in the last example and just click you will see that it will select the entire column if you want to know more about how you can work with the structured references you can review the video that we did about one year ago regarding the structured references and you will see the link for this video on top of the screen right now now we selected the first argument which is array let me put a comma second argument will be sort index please ignore this for the moment I'm going to just ignore it and we'll come back to it in a second then I'm going to do another comma in order to start with the third option or the third argument which is sort order and obviously asking you if you want the sort to be ascending or descending the value 1 is for ascending and the value minus 1 is for descending for this case we need it ascending so the value should be 1 and then comma the fourth argument asking you by column or by row as you can see I have all the values coming in rows so this option will be false I can just select false and double click and then close the bracket for sort function and enter you will see here the list is populated automatically and it is sorted alphabetically ascending because we have only one required argument which is array and then three optional uh, argument for sure there is a default for each one of them the default for by column is false so we can just take it out the default for uh, sort order is ascending so we can take the one out and we already ignored the first one just we'll take it out as well and enter the same answer exactly coming from the formula because we are going to use all the defaults as programmed by Microsoft Excel creators so in the second example we need to do another column but this time should be descending it's very easy equal SOR here is your formula tab let's select the array I know the name of the table units tab here is the name of the table this time I need the date open a square bracket type date and tab close the square bracket here you have the first argument comma sort order we're going to ignore for the second time and then sort order this time it should be minus one because I want to sort descending so I'm going to select minus one and then comma by column the default is false so I can just ignore it close the bracket and enter here you go the dates are in reverse order as you can see here starting from March down to January let's go to the third example and this time it is asking you to do a sorting for the entire table together not only for a single list it requires to do a sorting for this table descending based on the units column and here we are going to use the sort index and for this case it will be a column index so let's try to write our formula equal SOR tab and then we're going to select the array I know the name of the table units underscore sold no need to open square bracket because I'm going to select the entire table and then comma for the second argument sort index I need to sort this table based on the units column so the values in the units column will decide the order of the, this table after the sorting so I'm going to use number three for this argument why because the units is the third column in this table this is the first column second and then third so number three will represent the third column if you check in the original table here you go category is the first you can represent it by one and two for date and then three for the units 
Accordingly, if you use number three for column index, it will direct the function to sort using the value in the third column, which is representing the units. Then comma for the third argument, sort order, this will be descending. I'm going to type minus one and again, another comma for the by column option this will be false so i can just ignore it backspace the comma close the bracket and enter and you'll see here the table is sorted based on the units in reverse order the highest number of units in the first row and the lowest number of units in the last row in the last example you see that i have this table this time it is a cross tabular table and you have your categories in the columns and we need to sort the table based on columns you can see the requirement here sort table ascending by column based on total row and this time we're going to use the sort index as a row index meaning that i need to use this total row as you can see here as a sorting uh, criteria for these columns and this will be ascending meaning that we're going to start with a small value on the left in this case the bikes should be the first column on the left and then the last will be accessories because it has the highest total row should be the last column on the right as you can see the red column should not participate in this sorting operation so i'm going to just reference it directly to the first column in the new table so equal and then i'm going to select b15 and enter let me copy this and select the entire column and the shortcut for the copy formula will be alt hvf i copied only the formula in order not to spoil the table formatting and i'm going to write the sort function here in cell i15 starting the second column of the table so let's write together equal sor tab now i need to select my array this time my array will be the entire table except the first column which is the date i'm going to type comma now the second argument will be sort index sort index should be referring to the total row as you can see here and total row is the fifth row here is the first second third fourth and this is the fifth so i'm going to write five to represent the fifth row and then comma sort order will be ascending so it can be uh, the default which is one i can just write another comma just to uh, asking excel to use the default in this place in this argument and the fourth argument asking you are you going to sort by column in this case the first time to use true so i'm going to write true and then tab and then I'm going to close the bracket and press enter. You will see here the new sorted table is perfectly as required in this example. I have the bikes with the lowest total at the beginning and then the accessories with the highest total at the end uh, from the left to the right. And the rest of the columns is sorted correctly. This was all the options that we have and all arguments that we can use with the sort and unique functions in the next video we're going to have a practical example when you use this function to create very useful reports using these functions these two functions together unique and sort and also with some other functions like index like some ifs and like the date functions end of month and day and these all uh, important functions we're going to use all together to create a very good report that was all for today but before leaving you if you didn't subscribe yet to the channel please do like the video if you like it and leave me a comment and see you in the next video and bye